hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today for this video i'm going to do something a little different i wanted to talk more in depth about the cloud and scenes that my friends and i had encountered in round one and how did they work and how we were able to win the prizes um during this um video i'm going to be doing a bit of a speed paint with a cute girl character that i made um, and she was inspired by the claw machines actually and I just wanted to draw, you know, a cute girl winning a prize at the, one of the, her claw machines. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just designing her outfit and soon we'll be able to switch to live footage of one of the first claw machines. So the first machine that we encountered at round one was this Jujutsu Kaisen um, claw machine. So the goal of the machine was to get the little hook by the claw to hook onto the top by the box. There's a little hole in the box and you have to get the claw in the box hook. And then that's how you win the prize. As you can tell, this machine is much harder than it looks. It requires precision and it was actually really hard to get the prize eventually. We did. I kind of want to explain more about um, how we actually got the prize. So we couldn't get the claw to hook onto the top part however my roommate um she knocked the box off of the bars themselves so when we went to the person who was running the claw machines that day and we asked them to reset the machine they actually counted the fact that she knocked the box over as a win and because of that um we were able to win the prize you could either choose one big plushie or two small plushies so my roommate chose two small plushies so that she could get one for herself and so I could get one since it was my birthday. Um, and so that's how we won the first claw machine. The second machine was a dice rolling machine. So we had to use the claw to flip the dice inside the machine. And it's not as easy as it looks because you have to get a specific target number which is basically what was at the top of the machine. And if, once you get that target number, you're able to claim the prize. However, this machine requires both luck and precision. Even if you do flip the cube, there is no guarantee that you'll actually get your target number. So unfortunately, we didn't win any prize figures from this particular machine because of the difficulty level. Okay, so for this next machine was pretty much one of the easiest machines there. It looks like your typical um, claw machine where you have to get the prize to go into the hole, but the hole was actually blocked at this machine. So instead you had to get a particular target section where you have to get the claw at that particular section before um, the claw goes back up. And because of this, we're able to win two prizes um, from this particular machine, which was really nice. This machine, um, there's nothing a lot to say about it because it's your typical claw machine. You use the big claw and you pick up the prize and you put the prize in this particular hole. Um, however, um, the claw gets stronger after how many turns it's used before the payoff. So I want to talk a bit more about the last two machines that we just saw. For the first um, one from that particular section, we just have to get the target section of the body. Um, the only downfall be for that machine is that um, it's very unclear whether or not whether you win the prize or not because sometimes it looks like it's at the target body and other times it's more ambiguous so we always have to like call help um, from the person who's in charge of the machines that day so that they could verify our win and you know make sure that we're not like stealing from the um, particular machine the second one of course we didn't win anything from it because it takes a certain amount of tries before you can actually get the claw to be strong enough to carry the particular prize which is why plushies are kind of hard to win in regular claw machines so the last type of machine that i want to discuss um, today is this machine where you actually have to get the yellow cylinder inside the particular hole in the clear container to win the prize um, this one was very difficult because it requires a lot of precision. Um, there were some times where we were very close to getting the prize, however we were one centimeter off from the hole and therefore it didn't go in. So we didn't win any prizes from this particular machine. So continuing on with that particular machine, yeah, like I said, we didn't win any prizes. Um, there's also like a black tab and that's if it like pops off then the person who's in charge of the machine would know that um, we got it in the hole and we we're able to win the prize of course that didn't happen we we're unable to do that um, and then after playing all these machines we went to some of the regular arcade games in round one um, they had a lot of like anime team machines which was really cool um, they had a Miku dance machine 
but a couple of other anime themed machines. There's also machines you'll typically find in regular arcades, which is very nice to do. Now back to the drawing. So the drawing, I wanted to do a background with claw machines, but kind of like in the dark per se. So that's what I did, and I added some lighting as well. I also went with a bluish and purple color scheme for the entire artwork. And this is it. Um, this is the first prize um, we won. This is a Luna plushie that we got from the Target Body um, machine. And then the second one was Itadori that my roommate won for me. Um, so this is it, and that's the end of the video.